What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News, and today I will discuss a super under-the-radar fight at this weekend's UFC Vegas 69, but guys, before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. All right, guys, getting into it, Jim Miller is going to be taking on Alexander Hernandez in the lightweight division, an extremely under-the-radar matchup that nobody's really talking about. Jim Miller, who has very impressively become the Iron Man of all of the UFC. I mean, I think he either tied or surpassed for the number one wins all time for the UFC. He's riding a three-fight, three-finish win streak against guys like Donald Cerrone, Eric Gonzalez, and Nicholas Moda. I mean, yeah, it was an over-the-hill Donald Cerrone and two up-and-coming prospects who just didn't have the experience and the capabilities that a guy like Jim Miller still has. The resurgence that, that Jim has had in the last three, four years has been really impressive. But now he's going against a guy like Alexander Hernandez, who, yeah, Alex is riding a two-fight losing streak. He's been finished against guys like Hinato Moicano, uh, Drew Dober, Donald Cerrone, and most recently Billy Quarantillo. But he was looking really good in the first round of that matchup. But he, Billy was able to weather the storm like he always does. He kind of always is a slow starter. He lets the guys kind of push on the gas tank, and then eventually he will wear on them once they're not able to put him away. And that was kind of the story in that matchup against Alexander Hernandez. So Alex, if he's able to work on his cardio and be able to keep that pace going on, or at least be able to kind of pick his shots a little better, he can be such a dangerous, formidable opponent because when he goes against guys who are not top 15 ranked guys, he usually puts them the fuck out. But when he goes against these guys who are able to weather the storm, who are able to take the punch per se, he ends up on bottom most times. So if he's able to kind of just figure out his game, stay a little patient, not always just go for the kill, 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 kill. I think that he can definitely get himself on a nice little win streak because people forget he took out guys like Benil Dariush. He beat dudes like Olivier Aubin Mercier. He is a very dangerous guy in the lightweight division, but he just hasn't been able to put out that consistency round his game out against these upper level, upper echelon guys. But this is a very phenomenal matchup for him right now going against a legendary name like Jim Miller. And if he is able to go out and put Jim Miller away, that can definitely get his confidence back on track and maybe another good matchup moving forward. But what he's, he's got to do, man, he's just got to work on that cardio, work on a plan B. It seems like when things don't go his way right away, he kind of just loses confidence. He gasses out and he kind of just gets finished, you know, because, I mean, it was looking really good for him in the first round of Billy Quarantillo fight, but... Once he wasn't able to put him away, he just he emptied the gas tank and Billy was able to capitalize off of that. So Alexander Hernandez, he's just his ceiling is so high. He just has to be able to put it together, stay patient and find the kill shot rather than just kind of always just hunt, hunt, hunt. Be patient. Let the fight come to you. He definitely has the hands to be able to put these guys out because when he does, I mean, he puts guys the fuck out. But going against a guy like Jim Miller, who has all the experience in the world, Jim definitely has the ability to get the fight to the ground and kind of just show his experience. But I just think against a guy like Alexander Hernandez, nine years is younger, super dangerous, super hungry. Gun to my head, I think Alexander Hernandez by finish. Um, but who knows, man, Jim Miller has been, he's been turning back the clock and proved to be the ultimate Iron Man in any sport that you could ever ask for. Uh, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on this matchup. I think it's a super under the radar matchup. But guys, let me know in the comment section. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. All right, guys. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.